Welcome to Public Good at House. My name is Aretha Simons from TechSoup. Today we have some amazing people who are going to share some creative tech solutions to address COVID-19 and other health demands in the community. Speaking next is Jessica Joseph. She is the business development representative at Red Level Group. Jessica is passionate about helping clients achieve business objectives as a trusted advisor through technology consultant. Jessica is going to share about COVID clear paths from Red Level Group. I really appreciate the opportunity to chat with everyone today. So thank you. Yeah, so at Red Level Group, we created a clear pass um, application. So a little bit about Red Level. We are passionately committed and endlessly resourceful to help change the way clients do business. Um, we were founded in 2004 and headquartered in Novi, Michigan. Um, we're a veteran-owned business. And um, three of our original founders are still actively involved in leadership roles within our company. So we're a total solution tech consulting company with expertise in managed services, uh, cloud and data center, uh, Microsoft security and compliance, application development, and collaboration services. And so the problem at hand was kind of as organizations were returning to work, we kind of needed a solution. So us being in the Midwest and headquartered in Michigan, we're kind of well known for having some of the most uh, strict requirements for restrictions and guidelines during this pandemic. And so our team kind of put our heads together to try to create a solution for our company. And we developed the COVID ClearPass app, which you see on the right there. In addition to that, like one of our core values within our company is care. So for us, it was really important to pass this along once we developed the app for our use to our clients. And then as the pandemic evolved and we offered it to the community at large as well. So it just kind of speaks to, like I said, our core value that we extend care for our, not only our employees, but our clients and the community at large. Um, so as you can see, this is kind of, a, you know, can be used on like a um, desktop or a smartphone and has several functionalities that I'll work, walk through. But, um, you know, we did follow the recommendations by the CDC and the World Health Organization to allow organizations to track capacity restrictions and some of the health screening requirements um, when entering the workplace or a venue. This is the feature of our pre-registration. So there's a couple different features within the app, and this kind of just allows from an employee standpoint or organizational standpoint to manage capacity per site location, but it also works for venues. And as you can see here, you can update capacity. It updates capacity in real time. You'll see how many spots are available, you can certainly pre-register and there's also a waiting list function. You're able to, as like the employee, for example, view your check-in status and you're even able to check out during the workday as well. Okay, so this is um, kind of the pre-registration function and it just kind of shows you here what would happen. So you're able to customize the different sites and you're able to pre-register for a date in advance. So for example, you can simply click on the button to reserve a visit and to the right, it'll show you what the capacity looks like it updates in real time. So in this example, it would show that I'd be approved and there's now 499 spots available. For the self-declaration health form, again, this is based on the CDC guidelines. In this platform, it's tied to Active Directory, so an employee name would populate. You're able to um, select the company site, as I mentioned. There's check-in, date and time is captured. And then the questions are CDC guideline-related questions for symptoms, um, there's a temperature field if you've been in close contact with someone diagnosed with COVID-19. And then there's also a travel question. If someone has successfully answered these questions and they're not at risk of the spread, they'll get this message to the right where it shows that they're successfully completed and they're able to enter the building. On the back end, we're able to notify admin or HR, safety directors, things like that. If someone has failed one of the check-in questions, so for example, maybe they had symptoms of COVID-19 and they aren't able to access um, the building or facility. So at the very bottom, you can kind of see what that looks like. You'll get an email alert that would come to that site admin or HR director. And then there's also other notifications towards the top. It shows you what it looks like if you pre-register for a visit for an office location. And also if you happen to be on the wait list and if someone decided to re rescind their pre-registration, you get bumped up to the next spot. It would also let you know that you're now then pre-registered. This main screen shows the check-in pre-register function, but there's also two spaces at the bottom to help engage employees. So one is the prevention of spread of COVID-19 and two is company news. So we can help you customize this or you're able to customize within the app. 
And, you know, for us in the state of Michigan, we had to have some of the prevention of spread posted in our workplace. And so it's just another feature with the app, another spot that we can post this information. And to the right, just showing you an example of news, you're able to customize this. You can have multiple touch points there. You can embed links and things like that. So it's just another way to capture the audience of of your employees or uh, in a venue situation. So this app does use Power BI, and this is just an example of the data displayed in the Power BI dashboard. And why this is super helpful is that it's it's more visual display, and it kind of shows you like the different locations that we use in the demo. For example, the multiple locations are listed. It shows how many submissions. And then to the right, you can kind of search and filter based on employee name, the date, and maybe where they checked in as well. So this is especially helpful for contact tracing situations. So for example, in the middle column there, we have the Grand Rapids office. There's four people that checked in, say someone ended up coming back with symptoms. It allows you to actually like narrow down that specific location and, and then see who potentially could have been at risk as well to the exposure from a potential other employee. So the tech stack. So ClearPass runs on Microsoft 365 and the Power Platform. The app specifically uses Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, as I just showed you, and SharePoint Online. Um, We can also help integrate this into Microsoft Teams for ease of use. And if any organization isn't sure, you know, kind of what licensing that they have or what licensing might be needed, Red Level can definitely help you determine which bundle is best fit for your organization and to make this work for you as well. As this has evolved, we've actually expanded our offerings and we have multiple versions to best suit the needs of multiple organizations. So Power App, which I just talked about, is actually a free app. However, you do have to have the Microsoft licensing. We also have a web hosted version that's great for G Suite users and non-Microsoft 365. ClearPass Go was created specifically for restaurants to help manage capacity and contact tracing. And then we also have ClearPass EasyQ specifically for museums, libraries, um, you know, and other attractions to help manage capacity and entry. So a call to action, like how do you get some more information and uh, download ClearPass? You can register for a free download at redlevelgroup.com forward slash ClearPass. The form to the right will populate. You can fill out your information there and we will send you our digital assets or we can also um, get in touch with you to set up a demo or help you with an install. And then if you need additional information or you want to set up a demo, feel like this is a good fit for your organization, you can definitely email either Alyssa Hockenberry or myself um, at our email addresses at Red Level Group, and we can definitely help you get started. So thank you.